hey y'all there are about 10 days until Christmas and if you're needing some last minute Christmas gift ideas this video is for you and in today's video I'm going to be showing you some DIYs that are a great way to repurpose reuse and recycle things that you may already have around your house that will turn into fun and affordable gifts so if you are ready to do that, let's get started. On this channel, I love sharing easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. This video is part of a playlist. It's called the Third Thursday Thrift Flip Playlist and it's hosted by my friends, the Rusty Willow and Southern G More Gals. Love those ladies. As well as the guest host this month is Chic Show DIY. I'm gonna have a link to their channels in the description box below, as well as a link to the playlist. I hope you check it out because there's gonna be lots of great inspo for you. This is a fun and easy DIY and you could use this a lot of different ways. So take some scrap cardboard and I know you probably have some on hand if you're getting packages like I am. I traced out a tree shape as a template and then I traced out that shape three times and this is going to be for the garland over my stove. And then all you do is cut out the shapes and see I told y'all this was going to be easy. For the top part of the tree I am just wrapping it with some green yarn and you can use really any color you want. Maybe you know do something fun like pink trees or go super neutral and do cream colored trees. Really whatever fits your decor and style is going to work and as I said earlier you could use these a lot of different ways like I'm making a garland and it's a small area so I only need three of the trees but if you're doing a longer one just of course add more trees and you could use even use these as gift tags or maybe even on a tear tray and of course since you're using cardboard you could really make this any size that you want for the trunk of the tree i am using some jute twine i usually get mine from amazon and i have a link down below but today i'm using some i got from hobby lobby and speaking of at the time that i filmed this they had a lot of their christmas stuff 66 percent off so that's really a pretty good deal also, I'm being a little neater with how I'm wrapping this, but you could do like a more messier, more primitive version if you wanted to. And you could leave this plain, but I decided to add some little tiny pom-poms to my tree, kind of like ornaments, and I think they're looking so cute. And I have 12 beads and I stained four with Waverly Wax in the color antique and the others I just left natural. And I'm stringing them on the jute twine. And basically I just took down the old garland that I had hanging up and I traded out some of the beads and added the others that I had stained. And I was just gonna tape them onto the jute twine. I didn't really want to hot glue them on because I like to reuse the garland. So I'm just attaching it with some masking tape. And what I ended up doing was putting the garland strand up on the vent hood and then attaching the trees with masking tape to the vent hood instead of really to the twine. I mean, it's kind of on the twine, but not really. And masking tape is holding it onto the vent hood. So if this was gonna be free hanging though, then you would need to run the jute twine through one of the yarn strands yarn strands on the back to keep it in place and I recommend doing that sort of near the top so it doesn't flip flop when you hang it and this is how it turned out I really love the colors a very neutral rustic farmhouse kind of vibe now, I don't know if you can see the masking tape behind the trees but this is how it looks on my vent hood I wanted to tell y'all that it is not too late to join my Facebook crafting group. It's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. I run it with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY and the link is gonna be in the description box below. Here I am in my quote unquote wood workshop. <laughs> it's actually my garage y'all. Uh, but that's where my jigsaw is and that's what I used to cut the wood for DIY number two. And when I said at the beginning that these DIYs could, you know, use things that you may have around your house, that's what I was going to use with some old fence posts, but that I had, you know, around, but I wasn't thinking about it when I pulled out this piece of pine that I had. So I guess we're making today's project out of pine, but I cut three kind of triangle shapes. One is eight inches long. One is 11 inches long. And the last one is 14 inches long. And I divided the width of the board into thirds and I made a mark one third in at the top of each board. And then I drew a line from that bottom corner of the board up to that top mark and then I cut 
And that's what kind of makes it that triangle shape, but with a flat top. And I actually made two sets, one for me and one for my sister. And this is gonna be a reversible sign, but you'll see that in a second. And I started out by standing the whole board with Waverly Wax in the color Antique. And I do my usual paint it on and then wipe it off with a damp cloth. And then for this side of the DIY, I painted the boards green. The smallest one is gonna be with Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Antique Green. For the largest one, I painted one side with Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Fern. And for the middle one, we're gonna paint one side with Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Moss. And after they dried, I flipped them over and started to paint the tops of the boards white. The middle section I started to paint with a mixture of two yellows and I decided it wasn't dark enough. So you'll see in just a second that I actually went back in with a darker yellow. And the bottom section is just going to be orange. And if you can't tell by now what it is, well, I, I don't know what to tell you then, but it's corn, you know, that song. Anyway, candy corn is what it is. And we've got Captain back in the studio helping us craft. He wasn't feeling good about a week ago and I had to take him to the vet to find out that as far as they can tell, there's nothing medically wrong with him. So anyways, he's feeling better and I'm happy about that, but I need to add some pizzazz to the green side of the DIY. So for this one, I just drew, I just drew a border and then a line down the middle and I kind of added some lines, kind of like branches on each side. This one, I'm just drawing some swirly, curvy kind of lines. <laughs> and for the final one, you can kind of see what I'm doing, but I'm going down a third of the way-ish and then drawing like a tree shape, kind of curving it in like branches. And I think I may go back in and add some dots so there's like ornaments on it, but I'm not sure. So tell me what you think in the comments below. If you're enjoying today's video, I really would appreciate it if you would give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It's a great way to support my channel and when you do those things, it helps YouTube to notice me just a little bit more. All right, let's get back to the DIYs. And this is how my reversible DIY came out and I love it. I need to add a base to it so that they stand up better on their own because right now I have two candles behind the shapes propping them up. But other than that, I think it turned out super cute. And the cool thing about this is you can make this as big or as small as you want. For the tree side, you can really paint it however best fits your decor, maybe black and white, maybe all neutrals. I mean, you know, whatever. And for the design, just Google painted Christmas tree wood signs and you'll see lots of options on how to paint it. And if you put it outside, you probably need to put some sort of sealant on it, but this would make a great gift and it's reversible decor so you've got fall taken care of and then flip it around you got winter and Christmas covered too. Thank y'all so so much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed what I shared and I hope you find some inspiration if you're needing any last minute gifts and I'm gonna leave um, a link to a video. I think it's you know what I never can remember which side it goes on when I'm talking. Maybe it's this side right here. So I'm going to leave a link to a video that you might enjoy. And don't forget, if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on Instagram or TikTok or Facebook, my handle is Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.